There's another one with it again. Another one with it again. Double alert. Fishing freaks, welcome back to the channel here at the treehouse this morning. A a dewy wet morning but it's gonna warm up today <laughs> the fog is just lifting out it's been raining for the last couple days the weather has been just nasty and I'm ready I'm ready to get out and go on some adventures so I've been packing up here this morning at the treehouse by the way y'all if you have not subscribed to the Lake Life family channel that's where we do vlogs around this area with everything uh, we got going on here including the newest members of the the family the flock the uh, Chicks, come on out, guys. I'm gonna let them peck around. Oh, sorry, I like to hang around my feet. I'm gonna let them peck around a little bit in the yard. They are like just nature's exterminators, they just get after the bugs and insects, just especially after rain, all the worms and everything are out. So they're super happy right now. Now, last month I talked about going up and fishing some Oklahoma lakes during the month of April, and here we are close to the end of April, and I still haven't been up there. But I've just been preparing for uh, New Zealand. I've got that coming up in a couple of weeks. There's just been a lot of stuff happening here at the treehouse, other things going on industry wise. But it's time. It's time for me to go get lost up there. I'm going to take the silver bullet with me, but I'm taking my camping gear. I'm, I basically packed my pack that I'm going to be using in New Zealand, plus and minus just a few things. Uh, but basically getting all that rigged out and kind of preparing myself for uh, what's going to be going on. So goal for today is find us a good spot up in Oklahoma where we can go camp by the water and also catch a few fish. So y'all tuned in for a doozy today. Let's get out to the water and find us a campsite. What do you think, chickies? See ya. I've been bamboozled, y'all. I, I had to pull over. There's a Bucky's here for gosh, gosh sakes. I pull in here and uh, they're not open. I was like, what is going on? There's a thousand pumps here. There's only like five cars. Everyone's working inside. Some guy came out and was like, we don't know until Monday. And I was like, there go. That's such a disappointing thing. I was looking forward to my 99 cent eyes. Maybe even use the bathroom at Bucky's just because it's great. Little life lesson, don't ever pass up a Bucky's, even if it's closed. Just goodness inside of there. It's gonna fuel you through your trip, fuel you through your life, especially if you've got a rumbling in your stomach. I somehow got off on a wrong turn. I was talking to a couple of Googans on the phone, and next thing I know, I'm like 15 miles off where I'm supposed to be, and there's a, a river in the way. I gotta go all the way back. I also saw three turkeys crossing the road. I still haven't killed one. There's the Red River. I wonder why they call it red. <laughs> so clear. Back on track. And I found a gas station that's got lures and bass up on the, the windows of it, so that's good. It's been a journey already getting up to this place. I'm up in the land of casinos. For some reason, their gas pump here, you gotta like prepay on the pump. I haven't seen that forever, but they also have 100% gasoline. There's a boat. There's a boat heading out. Total adventure today. Don't know what the fishing is going to be like at all. I'm excited about just going and testing out the gear and camping though. Just entering into the park area. It's beautiful out here, y'all. Actually a little bit more touristy than I was thinking. Like this would be a cool place to take the fam. And I am doing a little bit of scouting for that. I think it'd be fun to take uh, Emmy and Steph up here. Today we're just going primitive, baby. It's our first look at the lake. Oh wow, it is flooded. Very so much flooded. The water is clear though. Anytime you've got adverse conditions, you know, you've had a ton of rain, water's murky or whatever, it's always easier when you got clear water. You know, fish can still see. And I can tell this lake is normally super clear. 
but it's still clear as it's flooded. So that gives me a shot. That's why I wanted to come up here to fish. But this is gonna be some fun camping up here. It's beautiful. There's a boat running. We just arrived. I did not think this place was gonna be as packed as it is, but there's a bunch of bass boats in the parking lot. Got a bunch of crappie boats, and there's a lot of things happening here, apparently, even though that the water is really flooded. I mean, just looking at the campsite back here, I'm not taking my pants off, don't worry. I'm putting my belt knife on. Taking a gander at the lay of the land here, it looks like the lake is about eight foot high, maybe? Maybe more? Um, I'm not quite sure, because I've never been here before. Lots of great little primitive camping spots, though. What I haven't showed you guys yet is pretty much everything for this trip is packed inside of this pack. I've got my tent, I've got my sleeping bag, I've got my, my rain gear, my cold gear, pretty much everything. Alright, I'm about to, about to launch. Okay, just give me one second. Guy's pissed off. Jeez. Look at this clear water, y'all. Oh man, let me just say, I love you guys. We got a couple of fishing freaks right here, Nathan and Waylon. They just helped me out with some info uh, about the lake. They said the fishing has been pretty good out here. Not a lot of giants, but even with the rain, the bite has been good. So that's exactly what I wanted to hear. And this is just a, I'm gonna have fun fishing this lake because it's clear water, chance at seeing some sight fish. And hey, I got fishing freaks out on the water with me. You guys are everywhere. I love you. Good luck, boys. I want a good fishing report at the end of the day. Nathan and Waylon, thank you guys. Appreciate you. Hopefully that, that info comes in handy here in just a minute. Beautiful waters, y'all. Absolutely gorgeous. I am just shocked that I've never been to this lake before. Experienced some of this goodness. I think I might just start right off fishing right here. I mean, there's a ton of water. Just taking a look at the map. Water 67. <laughs> you know they got to be spawning. High water is probably going to mess them up a little bit, but there's definitely some spawners down there. Oklahoma, baby, in April. Literally just stopped the boat close to the ramp here. No idea how this is going to pan out. What I'm going to start out with is a, a jerk bait, one I got out of an MTV Pro box. It's a I'm a flit. Dealing with super clear water here. So I want to make sure that I'm not spooking these fish with anything too big scary line wise i'm throwing this on uh, on braid as well with a fluorocarbon leader definitely want to use a fluorocarbon leader out here's the water so clear i've got a six foot six uh medium heavy action rod so i can really make this jerk bait bounce around with this combo this is the the guggen line braid that eight strand and this this is a favorite phantom it was a spinning rod. I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with it when I first saw it. I thought it was, uh, it was kind of an odd, odd size. And then I picked up a jerk bait with it. And I was like, oh, okay, this is, this is the deal. Especially if I'm going to throw a little bit bigger jerk bait that I want to get some action out of. It's got a bigger bill. This one's no problem. But I can throw it on casting just fine. But if I'm going to throw it a bunch, I like to throw it on spinning a little bit more. It's just better distance. Anyway. I don't want to get into tips before we start whacking some fish, but that's my jerkbait rig that I got going here so far. Oh, there's one. Got him on the jerkbait. Woohoo! First fish, look at that, man. Oh, there's another one with it. Oh my gosh. First cast, first fish, and there's another one there. Ah. Uh, Damn it. Things all wrapped. I'm trying to get this other fish here. Okay, now I just got a tangle. I don't see that other one. Woo, man, exciting. That is not a giant, but 
Well, that was cool. There was another fish with it. Looked about the same size or bigger. Nice, healthy fish, too. Okay, jerk bait. Jerk bait coming in strong there. We'll, uh, just for a second, we'll go ahead and fling the old uh, wacky out there. See if it gets picked up. Oh, it did. It got picked up. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Broken bow. I like you. I like you, man. That's an even better fish. Woo. <laughs> Look at that jump, man. Too awesome. Too awesome. God, that's a beautiful bass. Got it. That's on the eight pound Guggen Mono right there. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Look at the dark spots on it. Coloration. That's too cool. That fish absolutely throated it. Come in through a side gill here and get that unsnagged. There we go, buddy. Gotcha. Beautiful. Look at that little coloration there. Spot. That is awesome. Let's see, you, baby. Well, that was exciting, y'all. First two fish coming on spinning gear. That is two different spinning rods, I should say. Way different than what uh, I normally encounter here on this channel. And these these two baits are going to be really good for fish that uh, might be spawning. And I'm fishing over their heads, you know, I might not really be able to see them. They'll come up and they'll grab this thing because the water's so clear. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper with the swimmer. All right, send the old tasty cricket down range here. Mm. Came right on that point. Oh yeah, baby. Hit that swim bait, switched up to it. Look what just happened there. Ooh. God, he clobber hopped it. <laughs> I get I get new language when uh, I catch fish in new places, I guess. Nice fish. That's just a beautiful, nice fish for this lake right there. Solid keeper beautiful awesome thank you buddy that was cool throwing the, the infamous flashing swim bait this thing has uh just gathered them up for me last two seasons fishing in the spring i haven't been to a whole lot of lakes lately where i can just go out in the first you know 30 minutes not not even leave the boat ramp really and then just start catching fish so that's that's a good indicator of a healthy fishery Ugh, got one in the very back there it's probably a little guy yep he is oh there's another one with it again another one with it again double alert Can't get down there fast enough. Ed Gummit. God, that's happening a lot, y'all. Just a lot of groups of them. Indicator of a healthy fishery, too. Get those black dots. I don't know what it is. Well, so far, y'all, I am having a blast. I haven't been out here long at all. And I'm just catching them going around the bank. That's when you know fishing's good. So that's what I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep cruising through here until I stop catching them and then I'll go explore more of the bigger lake. But man, this, this, lake's, this lake's good. It's clear water. You know, I, I don't get to fish clear water a whole lot. It makes me feel like I'm a lot farther north than I really am. Oklahoma, you got it going on, baby. In the back of the creek right here, I, mean, was, I, I saw a cruiser. I just thought I'd throw a little, uh, a little wacky rig out, a stick bait. 
Got him. Just loaded up on it. Another decent fish. Looks like a spotted bass. And it is. Hey there, buddy. Chunky, chunky monkey. Ah, beautiful little spotted bass. Wacky rig hook doing his job right there. Right in the corner. There is a lot of fish this size right here. That's my first spot though. You can tell by the striations right there and then there's a little tooth patch on the tongue. Just a simple wacky rig hook. This is one I got in the uh, Carl's the stickies, the stickies hooks. Really good hook for drop shot and finesse fishing. Link for the hook will be down below. Oh, there's a bite. You got him. Not even a sight fish. He was just on the bank up there. Plunked it, little guy. Come here, little buddy. God, you guys, you guys are pulling hard. Little guy, you're just a cutie. Just a little cutie. Healthy though, my gosh. small oh maybe not oh yeah he's okay oh yeah buddy there is a shift happening again if you could tell i'm in the back of a pocket here look at this fish that's not a bad fish at all i'll call that a decent fish for this lake decent little keeper fish Oh, that one's been spawning. He's beat up. Went a little bit without a bite there, actually. I got on the sight fish and I was looking at them. And, you know, they just weren't really locked on. I didn't really feel like wasting my time on fish that are like two, two and a half pounds. So I just ran around to a couple other pockets and they're not everywhere. You need a little steepness to the banks, but, uh, that right there, that's a good fish. We'll let that one go. This place, y'all, first time fishing it. Impressions, awesome. Even though I'm not catching four or five pounders, it's just it's just a great lake. I can tell it's a great fishery, it's healthy, and I, I'm fishing where no, no other boats are. I mean, I'm just kind of randomly fishing and I'm catching fish. I don't think I'm on the juice. I, I don't I don't think I figured out any you know, great pattern or anything. I think the lake's just fishing good right now. But with the lake rising, there's a shift that's happening right now with this full moon, the spawn happening. Uh, these fish, I'm watching them move up into the shallow water, the new shallow water that wasn't even here a couple of days ago and actually setting up their beds. Wacky rig, you throw that up into the shallows, that's a, that's a game winner uh, when they're doing that. Throwing a little four inch swim bait on a uh, flashing hook, that's good. And the jerk bait when it's windy. You know, a lot of these spots that I'm fishing right now, I'm just trying to look at them, see what they're doing. And uh, it's so calm that the jerk bait is not as good. The soft plastic jerk bait, uh, the swim bait, and the wacky rig dong are much better. As the shift is occurring this afternoon, I will be going out and trying to figure out uh, a better pattern and try to get on these fish a little bit more but great start to the trip y'all so i'm going to leave you right here uh, next time when we come back we are going to look at the afternoon bite see how things are changing and then we're gonna we're gonna set up camp we're gonna do the old camping thing i'm gonna sleep by the water get in tune with the lake 
and then go out and crush them again. The last time I did that, it turned out really well. So I hope this turns out really good too. By the way, the guy at the boat ramp that wasn't really happy with me, uh, he was a friend of uh, the fishing freaks that I later met at the boat ramp and uh, he was cool. Uh, don't be mad at him, he was, he was just, he was ready to get out there on the water. Actually, because he was so anxious to get out there on the water, uh, and he was a little upset that I was in his way, uh, I, I had a good feeling that the lake was fishing good. You know, any anytime you get somebody that's like, hey man, get out of the hell, I gotta get out of the water. You know the fishing is probably good. All right, y'all, I love you. Thank you for staying tuned. And if you're wondering about the editor stuff, uh, I'll do a live stream update on that, going through some great picks. Thank you for emailing me, and I uh, appreciate all you guys just watching, tuning in, being part of the LFG family here. So I hope to see you right back here on the next one. And until then, have a good day.